12th, every Sunday, Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden gives us some great advice for do-it-yourself home improvements. Today, he talks about some New Year's resolutions for your home. All right, I know we need to lose a little bit of weight, but do you really want to give these up? You know, you probably only give them up for like a month or so. You know what? How about instead of food, let's do some New Year's resolutions for your home. They might be easier to uh, keep. All right, first of all, changing the filter. Are you changing the filter on a regular basis? Now, whether you use a uh, electrostatically charged disposable like a 3M or just the old uh, standby, if if you were if if you can actually remember to change them, and if you would change this every two to three months, this will cut down a lot of the dust in your house. My HVAC contractor, a very reliable company, told me I'm too stupid to use this filter. So I have to use this because I can't remember to change it. But just maybe, this could be the year. All right, a sump pump in the basement, if you have a sump pump. You know, sump pump, I'd, I'd replace it every three to five years. Because the thing about a sump pump, it's not like a water heater that starts, springs a leak and you go, oh look, the water heater's leaking. The sump pump stops. And when the sump pump stops, the basement floods, and now you have a mess. You always replace it before it breaks. So. Is that on your New Year's resolution? Re replace the sump pump. Taking care of your drains. I've talked about this is drain care. This is a uh, preventative maintenance. This is not if you have a clog. This would be for slow drains. But what you do, you use it, when you start using this, you use it once a day for a week, and then once a week for a month, and then after that, you use it monthly. And it's very simple. You take one scoop of this, two scoops and two pints of warm water, you stir it up, and then you just put it down small drains. So anything that's a, the kitchen sink, the bathroom sink, if you would do that on that, you will call, I mean, I'm telling you, it'll take care of most of the clogs, but you have to remember to do it on a, on a regular basis. Also comes in liquid, a little more expensive this way. Uh, the powder is, is the cheaper way to go, but if you don't want to mix it, you can also get a liquid. You know, uh, LED bulbs, you know, it looks like they're the winner in the new bulbs. Uh, you know, the CFLs are starting to drop off by the uh, wayside somewhat, and they've really done a great job on the tone of these, on the LEDs. Yes, they're a lot more expensive, but the price is really coming coming down. Uh, so maybe this is the year, 2016, to start replacing and eventually that bulb, initial cost up front, but it's going to save you a lot of money uh, moving forward. How about the smoke detectors? You know what? This is a 10-year uh, uh, alarm. So if you have smoke detectors that have reached that age of 10 years, and remember, the years go by quickly. So replace them, and then if you need to add some, add smoke detectors. But smoke detectors don't last forever. And if you, if you have a gas home or, or a fireplace, get a carbon monoxide detector. Have that in an area, in the sleeping area. All right, those are just a few of the things. We're, we're entering the boring time of the year. We can get some home improvement items done.